dual nature of NAT. Due to the drawbacks of Bose model, new idea was put forward by D. Broglie and Heisenberg about the nature of subatomic particles such as electrons. So first one, dual nature of matter. This was proposed by D. Broglie, Louis D. Broglie, okay, in the year 1924. Okay, 1924. So he suggested that just as light, all moving particles also possess dual character. Okay, particles like electrons, protons, etc. possess dual character. Okay, so according to De Broglie, all material particles in motion. So dual nature is all material particles in motion. Possess wave characteristics. Okay, wave characteristics in addition to particle characteristics. Okay, okay. So it possess. So all material particle in motion possess wave characteristics in addition to particle characteristics. That is, we can say that electron possess both momentum and wavelength. That is, electron possess both momentum and wavelength. Okay, momentum and wavelength okay this is applicable to all subatomic particles like electrons protons etc okay and there is a relation between wavelength and momentum okay if m is the mass of the particle okay v velocity of the particle okay then relation Lambda. Lambda is the wavelength of the wave associated with the particle, okay, which will be equal to h by mv, okay. Lambda is the wavelength of the wave. Also, we can write this will be equal to h by p. We know momentum, p is the momentum, p will be equal to mv, mass into velocity. So, lambda equal h by mv or h by p okay where h is the Planck's constant okay h is the Planck's constant this is the relation between lambda and moment okay now this relation is significant only in the case of microscopic particles like electrons protons etc okay if we take the macroscopic particles, macroscopic particles, that is huge particles, we can say that the mass will be very high. Okay. So, momentum mv will be high. So, what will happen to lambda? Lambda will be too small. So, the relation become insignificant. So, this is applicable only in the case of microscopic particles. Okay. Now let us do one problem based on this. The kinetic energy of a moving electron is 4.55 into 10 raised to minus 25 joule. Calculate its wavelength. Okay. So the equation is lambda equal h by mv. Okay. H is Planck's constant which is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 kilogram meter square second or joule second okay now mass mass of the electron is m is equal to 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram okay we we have to find the from the kinetic energy kinetic energy is given kinetic energy of a moving electron is half mv square kinetic energy is half mv square which is equal to 4.55 into 10 raised to minus 25 Joule. 
okay so lambda we have to calculate before that we have to calculate v the velocity okay we have to know the velocity then only we can calculate lambda so v velocity we have we can calculate from this v square is equal to 4.55 into 10 raised to minus 25 into 2 okay into 2 divided by mass mass of the electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 kilogram okay so after calculation the value is 10 raised to 6 meter square second raised to minus 2 okay so v will be equal to 10 raised to 3 meter per second okay so we got the velocity so how can we calculate lambda lambda is equal to h is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 divided by m mass is 19.1 into 10 raised to minus 31 into velocity 10 raised to 3 okay now after calculation the value obtained is 7.25 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter this much will be the lambda okay so like this we can calculate the wavelength of electron second question calculate the momentum of a particle which has a de broglie wavelength of 1 armstrong so the equation is lambda equal h by p p we have to find okay h is equal to 6 point planck's constant 6.626 in, 6 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second or kilogram meter square second raised to minus 1 okay lambda is given 1 armstrong which is equal to 1 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter okay so p is equal to h by lambda so momentum we have to find so p will be equal to h is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 divided by lambda is 1 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter so after calculation value 6.626 raised to minus 24 kilogram meter second okay this will be the 